Joey here. Well, just let me check, uh, I've got my video mic on. Uh, so today I want to return to my hot rod fender settings. Oh, which, uh, let me just, you might just, oh yeah, you can just see a tiny bit of uh, my amp there in the, the corner of the picture. Uh, so a, a while back I found uh, this poster online that showed all the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe settings. I uh, don't know if it's an official Fender thing or whether someone just did it. So let me put a picture up of it right now. So that's it there. And today I'm up to the... Yes, yeah, so uh, for those who don't know, I, I then uh, decided just for fun I'd go through each of those settings uh, straight into the amp strap into the amp, no pedals, no post recording production on the uh, Cubase. Just mic up the amp and record straight in and we'll see, let's see what we get. And the first one I did was, uh, you can see on top there, was Ost Tone, which I don't know, I assumed it was meant Australian Tone, and I did the same song uh, on Stranded, which worked out alright. So now we've got this thing called Skank and Crank, uh, <laughs> which is a fun name. And I mean, for me, uh, especially my particular strap, uh, sounds about as skanky as they come. Uh, to me, that that is uh, the, the 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 true Fender sound. Um, and so, skank and crank. Uh, you can see that the settings there. Uh, actually, let's just zero in on on the settings of the skank and crank. Uh, and the idea here is that you you've got a tiny bit of overdrive on. You're on the over, the the first overdrive channel. Uh, the drive channel and uh, you've got your master on full ball and uh, and then you're, you're, you're mucking around with the controls on your, the volume switch on your, your strap to, to sort of get your get, get your, your perfect uh, sound in so th th that's your idea behind skank and crank now the, so the song uh, so back here so the, the song I chose was uh, the Aussie classic Miss Free Love which uh, I reckon is a fantastic choice for Skank and Crank well I'm, I'm hoping anyway we you know we don't know how, how it turns out until the end of the the end of the uh, recording uh, that, that's just the way it works uh, where uh, Daylight Savings is finished here in, on the east coast of Australia uh, so I've got about 45 minutes of this uh, twilight left uh, to to record this and my family's out so that gives me a very small window to do th I'm going to do three guitar parts I'll quickly go through them now the guitar parts I'm going to do so they're all going to have the exact same setting on the amp no pedals and uh, I'm just going to play around with my volume switch to work out the, the, the ideal volume for each bit uh, so you know Miss Free Love's got that, that well known and I'm at the moment, since I'm only on the uh, video mic, I've got my volume relatively low. It'll be higher for when I, I do the actual recording, which will sound different to what you're about to do. I'll use two mics as well, so I'll double track each of the the, the three guitar parts I'm about to do. So, Mystery Love has that that, that well-known riff. Oh, by the way, and I'm, uh, the posters will tell you which pickup to choose, but I've decided to go uh, bridge and middle pickup because uh, I figure that's a good good setting for something called skank and crank yeah so yeah Miss Free Love's got that that well known now uh, riff so I'll, I'll be doing that now of course uh, um, there's lots of little rhythm bits going so uh, one of my guitar parts would just be doing a funky rhythm on sort of the bass strings, so I'm going something like a so I'm doing that yeah, when the chorus comes I'm doing that, so we've got the rhythm on uh, the bass strings and then I'm going to have another little funky uh, rhythm happening on the high strings So I'll be doing that, so both of those uh, will sort of be having a bit of uh, a contrasting sound, I think. And then of course I've got the... Uh, got that thing happening. Uh, at, at some point, uh, and I'm only doing an abridged version, so we'll have a, an intro, a verse, 
and then I'll, I'll jump straight into the chorus. And at that point, I just want to crank up my volume pedal, uh, volume pedal, my volume, my volume uh, but, uh, pot on my uh, strat, and, and get into. Um, get a bit of lead happening, uh, and then we'll go straight into the outro and we'll just have a bit of fun with it. Uh, big thanks to, uh, I pinched a few lead ideas off uh, a, 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 chan a channel that specialises in Australian songs. Uh, don't know the guy's name, but the channel's called uh, Australian Guitar Channel. So he, he had a bit of a lesson on this, and uh, I, I, I wasn't able to contract fully on what he was doing on the lead bits, but I, I pinched a few things, and uh, we'll use them here. But otherwise, I'm just having a bit of fun, and, and then we, we, we just finish up on, on, on that outro. Uh, so that's it, give me uh, a minute to check my tuning, set up my mics, and uh, I'll, I'll have about oh, 35 to 40 minutes to record this. Okay, <laughs> see you soon.